It is a beautiful day in Ohio, and I'm at Barco MX. It's my 2025 KTM 350 XCF. It's C Group time. Get to go out with C guys. This is uh, it's got a set of cone valve forks, four eight springs. Brad at Brideworks did my rear shock WP Pro component rear shock, full crop of its system, CO CUO unit, and I got a factory edition wheel with the MX 34 front tire on it today. Let's go out and do some slow C lap rides. There are a lot of people here today. Briarcliff MX is a very popular place. It earlier this this morning doing the rides, it was kind of super soft and still is soft in some spots, but starting to get a little bit ruddy or choppy, I should say. X34 front tire, little better traction into soft stuff today. Nice to get back on the 350 again. Oh. Yeah, look at some of these ruts. Uh, you can see how you're supposed to do that, but you land in a bunch of ruts. A little tricky. Find that smoother inside line. Pick a rut. That CR250. Go to the inside rut. Oh, playful. Oh, so fun. Look at that torque in third. Oh, runt. Yeah, this little, I know GoPro makes it look nice and smooth, but there is some chop, and that's where that Pro Components suspension is so nice.
Let's get on that slick outside. There. That is what. Okay, there's Jeremy, the man, the myth, the legend. That is what a couple of slow laps in the C group looks like. On my KTM 350 XCF. Yeah, this bike, CUO unit, maximum throttle response, minimum engine braking, sand packed, sand track, dry, cone valve forks. Oh, looks like I need to stiffen them a little bit more. They work great. Brad, he has this shock dialed, pro component rear shock, Kropovich, lighter, super quiet, plus the spark arrestor, still pulls great mid to top. And this new chassis, this is good. Finally got my MX-34 up front. It's great. And I don't know what I got in the back. I think it's still an AT81. Yeah, AT81. Works fine. But the front is the good one. Anyhow, Brackcliffe MX, I am digging 350. Spar weight handling. They are a great trifecta. Two big thumbs up. 